I don't necessarily want to see him again or hang out with him anymore. But there is no resentment. We don't have to see each other. It's over. Some We did what we did. We completed our contract, our teachings, everything. It's over. Thank you. I got it. Now I know if I ever in that situation again, and you can smell it, you can smell the bullshit immediately, or anything resembling to that, anyone coming with a story very close to that, you can smell it almost immediately, and you walk away. You don't have to repeat it again. Sometimes... You're in a situation, you have to repeat it over and over again till you get it. But you change your mentality because your awareness is expanding. And again, it's difficult to let go. You have to see, you have to look for yourself. See how invested you are in your story called the past how attached you are in this story look at it for yourself and you will see that a lot of people on this planet are heavily invested in their life story poor me i come from this da 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 i come from mississippi um that I'm a single mom, you know, I'm, I'm black, I'm Muslim, you know, we had to escape from Syria to get here, I can, you know, da 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 da, I'm a mother with eight kids. It's true, it was hard, it was really torturous. I'm not saying you didn't go to torture, I'm not saying it was easy. I went to torture, I understand what it means. I mean, I got almost got executed it's not fun if you're in a dungeon in the middle of nowhere and they're torturing you and you have no rights you're completely vulnerable or maybe you live that life for 30 years 20 years as a single mom in the middle of nowhere it's not fun of course nobody denies that you didn't suffer of I'm never going to come over and say, hey, get over it. That's very ignorant. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a recognition of understanding how much your mind is attached to this story and wants to hang on to the story and keep repeating it. Keep repeating this story over and over again and keep you in this place of a victim and there's no transformation there because you have to evolve from it otherwise you can't go anywhere because you're always going to find you know during the election everyone was like either pro-Trump or against Trump or whatever and existence was having a joke, was laughing at all of the people who were so involved in it. In a way, God is sitting there and laughing. He says, okay, I got him hooked on this one. But the, the thing is, nothing is really going anywhere. Because it's not that this president or that president or this guy is racist, the other one is not. Da, 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 da. It's not those things. It's your internal process. What is going on? What is it doing to you? Because you could be living in the most racist area in the world, but internally you're free. So nothing is affecting you. And when I talk about racism, it's not like I have not felt it because I migrated to this country and I migrated in the worst time possible. So I know what it's like being under racism. 
I've experienced it. The first few years I was migrated to the U.S. So it's not the story. It's con that story continues. It's always here. You're always going to find another. Now it's COVID-19. Then now they're going to chip you. Now they're going to, you know, there's the virus. And some people worried about that the cure is worse than the virus because that's what's going to kill you. And that's going to control you. And that's going to da 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 da. The story keeps going. You have to evolve beyond the story. It's your responsibility. It's your work. You gotta shift your consciousness. And a part of that is stop blaming yourself and stop blaming anything else. And use every single opportunity in this life, any disadvantage, to turn the poison into the medicine. To simply seeing everything that this is an opportunity that God has provided for you to get over some of your own hang-ups, to expand yourself, to develop, to develop. Or God has created a situation if, if you have self-worth issues or you have issue to say no, like a lot of people, they have problems with their fifth chakra and we have grown up in society, in a culture that we've been repressed and we're not allowed to say no, we're afraid of speaking our truth. So then we're constantly in a situation that we're facing some kind of bully, whether it's your boss or your husband or wife or someone is bullying you and you have to stand up and say no and speak your truth. I'm not talking about every situation that is happening in your life. That means you have to be submissive because this is God. No, God also appears to you that forces you, pushes you, pushes you, pushes you till you come back and push back and say, enough is enough. You know, okay, dad, I'm not going to put up with your bullshit anymore. I'm not going to let you insult me anymore. I'm that, not that little girl who was standing in front of you feels really shaken and her legs are shaking. I'm 35 years old. I'm 40 years old and I'm not putting up with your thing. I don't appreciate it. And it's frightening to speak your truth. So when I say that you need to look at yourself and become aware of, of where you're stuck, is and not blame yourself or blame others and speak and live your truth is a variety of different things. It's not just one thing. It's not just being submissive. It's including if you're very soft and submissive, it's not the time to be aggressive maybe or to bring your fire out. I don't know what your story is, but what I'm saying is shifting your attention from self-blaming or blaming others to taking responsibility of this is your karma, this is your life, and you have to learn things. I'm not saying that you need to put up with shit, but I'm saying that shifting yourself from being a victim. And then you come to your power. You start to see. And self awareness kicks in.